Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft have started testing the next optional bug fix C release update for Windows 11 that we are expecting to see roll out near the end of this month, July 2022, which is update KB5015882, which they made available to the release preview channel insiders on the 14th of July, which was yesterday in my region. And the update 5015882 now takes the build to 22,000.829. And in case you're unaware, this is where Microsoft does the final testing in the release preview channel uh, before they release that build to the general public. Now, if we just take a look at the OS build for the current stable version, that is on OS build 22,000.795. So when the update does roll out um, shortly, we can expect the stable versions build if you do decide to install the update to be bumped up to 22,000.829. It will be in the 0.82, the 0.800s in that region. It won't be exact, but it will be very similar to what it is now in the release preview channel. Now, there are three new add-ons and uh, features uh, that have been made available with this next bug fix update. And just to mention these quickly, the first is they've provided the ability for you to consent to receive urgent notifications when Focus Assist is on, which is basically a notification bypass. And then I think the second new feature and add-on would be considered the key highlight for this next um, update. Um, they say they've provided the option for eligible devices to update to a newer Windows 11 version during the out-of-box experience, which is known as OOBE when you first sign in, so that's on a first sign in with Windows 11. If you choose to update to a new version, the update process will begin shortly after the update is installed on the device. And then the third new add-on and improvement, they've restored functionality for Windows Autopilot deployment scenarios that are affected by the security mitigation for hardware reuse. And then um, because this is a bug fix update, they have they have made mention of numerous bug fixes. So I'll leave uh, the release notes in the description in case you are interested. But just to mention one or two of these uh, quickly, which we can expect to roll out um, shortly in the next couple of weeks. They fixed an issue that prevents troubleshooters from opening in Windows 11. And then two to do with um, exe, which is your um, .exe, which is your file explorer .exe, which is basically the Windows shell. Uh, they fixed an issue that causes EXE to stop working when you use the play and pause keyboard buttons on certain devices. Uh, fixed an issue that causes EXE to stop working when you use the start menu's context menu, and that's your keyboard shortcut Win and X if you decide to use your keyboard and an external monitor is connected to your device. So that's the right click context menu um, on the start menu. And then one issue here that I have experienced um, on my device for quite a, uh, quite a while now and I actually hope that this fix does resolve the issue. They fixed an issue that displays a blank window that you cannot close when you hover over the search icon on the taskbar. So basically what happens is when you hover that over your search icon and then you move away sometimes, it leaves a blank window which I've experienced in, on numerous occasions where I've actually had to restart my device to get rid of that issue. So hopefully this fix um, will resolve that issue and so for me personally I'm quite hopeful for that bug fix and then another issue which is a known issue and this has also been affecting myself and also I've had numerous reports on this channel with other users having the same issue which is which is still a known issue and Microsoft just doesn't seem to be rolling out a fix for this issue they say on some devices widgets may crash in the background upon logging in and show the static default icon instead of populating and updating to show the weather. So the long and the short of that is when you sign into your device or start up your device, um, the widget doesn't show like it is now with the weather and the icon. It just shows a the blue square, the kind of the default blue square. And it doesn't populate as it says. And what I found is I just hover my mouse over the the widget and that takes a couple of seconds maybe about anywhere between 10 and 30 seconds to populate and then everything you see the widget and everything populates so this is still a known issue and I don't know why Microsoft doesn't seem to be fixing that where the widgets may crash in the background and show the static default icon so that's more or less what we can expect as I say the next bug fix C release update KB5015882 rolling out to Windows 11 um, in the next couple of weeks so we can expect to see that update shortly so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one